Hey, love buzz, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time, so oh, Jesus, that light. If anybody did you, if this is your first time stepping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beauty, ooh, my gr grown up. Eh. Growing extended, beautiful family. Thank you so much for the love and support. You're able to, you know, share my videos, give me a thumbs up, you know, give me your feedback. It's greatly appreciated. Y'all got tongue tied as soon as I start seeing the flashes. I know I'm about to get on some good stuff and be talking about before I even got get ready to get started. The lights are already starting to flash. So with that, see, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. These lights are flashing. That's when I know my energy is like really high. So, um, yeah. <laughs> much love to y'all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are de definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, y'all, this is really <laughs> You know, and have not like and subscribe, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, you know, so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel comfortable now, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you'll just tell me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video gives you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with content of my video. Y'all, that was crazy. With all these lights flashing, it's like, you know, as soon as I move my hand, they say, you know, they're like, Pew. you know the energy get crazy over here to where y'all you know if you're new to my channel there's a lot of times i can get on a very powerful content or my energy gets to a certain extent i can move my hands a certain way and you'll see like a flash some people are used to it if they've been with me for a while and they're used to it seeing the uh lights flash and shadows moving behind me and stuff it gets crazy over here but anyways you know if you're new to it hey Hey, uh, my, there's lights that come from my hands sometimes. But anyways, uh, the meditation music I'm listening to, it could be the meditation I'm listening to well as well because I, I, my energy feels crazy right now. So I ain't been smoking y'all or nothing like that. It's actually good energy, but it's euphoric as well. Um, it's 10,000 hertz, full, re, full restore body, mind, and soul. 741 hertz, healing cells from toxins. 432 hertz of miracle uh miracle rain music and i'm gonna post that link in the description box below and my video today i'm doing it that's why i knew it was about to be some mess uh when it's time to come out of the cocoon you know we have been healing we have been learning we have been letting go we have been adding more to our life if it's like positive energy we've been ex ex exiting people out of our lives you know god and universe has been putting spotlights on people that we need to separate and go our separate ways or there's people we have contacted with and we have you know good vibes with but they're also being separated out of their path because they're doing they're working on them as you're working on you so it's just like we have been in that cocoon just like a you know a butterfly that you know there was a caterpillar at one time and then you know like like the seasons they you know they get together and you know they, they get into a little nasty looking cocoon and you know they come out in this big beautiful butterfly that has uh formed and that's what we all are you know um we have those mystical you know essence about ourselves where we have been through so much trauma being able to find that confidence that power and assurance on ourselves that we can do this we got this you know there's sometimes you have to really go through some traumatizing stuff for you to see how much power and strength you got to go through or you actually have about yourself there's a lot of times i doubted myself you know where you know there's certain things that you know universe wanted me to talk about i'm like are you freaking serious it's not like i didn't have confidence in myself but it was pretty far out there and i you know and i'm just like i don't want nobody thinking i'm crazy or whatever when the things that i talk about because with the gifts that i have you know it is out there you know I, i'm able to tell certain people if i connect with them in their spirit especially spirit is really strong especially if it's like a loved one coming in there's things that there is no possible way of me knowing 
that I'm able to give them that gift to be able to give them that peace of mind, especially if they're struggling with, you know, dealing with the, you know, loss of a loved one, you know, it's a beautiful thing to be able to do. So it's just like anything that you have been within your gift. That's why I always tell people study up on different things. If something comes to you in your head and you have to write it down, there is a reason why it's coming up in your head like that or something like you can come across a certain video on YouTube. And if it really sticks out of you, sticks out at you, and it doesn't even have to be mine. I mean, there's times I've watched other videos and it took me aback. Like, what the hell? <laughs> you know, I'm like, this is what? What do I got to deal with? Excuse me, come again. You know, there are certain things that I didn't know about myself. I got all these so mystical hats. My mom used to always tell me how special I was. Or you just don't know what you're capable of doing until you, like, sit there. You know, because it's like I always used to, you know, want to study up on certain things. If something pulled me this way, I want to go that way. If something pulled me that way, I went that way. So it's just all these different things I learned about myself as well as helping others realizing there's things in ourselves. You have to be able to have that confidence in yourself. And if you don't have confidence in yourself, you can't convince anybody else of anything either. You know, especially with me doing what I'm doing. You know, it took me a while. You know, I've been going this almost going on my third year of doing this and I really love what I do. You know, it's just like they're it's like they're adding on so many different branches of my gifts that I'm able to help people. And I mean that really puts me on an emotional uh whirlwind, basically. A most emotional roller coaster in a good way. Being able to see how I'm able to, you know, I feel blessed to be able to help you along your journey, being able to make sense and let you know, you know, this is natural. You might be able to resonate with this. You might be able to resonate with that. There's a lot of people like, Rosalind, are you in my head or you got a hidden mic in my house or I'm like, no, I don't. If universe sends this towards me, I'm only being the Alegua, the messenger. You know, I'm, I'm just being able to tell you the things that are coming forth towards me that they want me to talk about to bring attention towards you, for you to know, okay, the, the things you might be going through at this occurrence during this time is normal. You know, whatever you're going through, ups and downs, emotional, being solid, you know, going through solitude, wanting to be by yourself. Like lately, I've been wanting to be by myself. It's, it's like, I really didn't want to talk to anybody. And it's like, it's not like I'm being mean or anything like that, but I know there's something that's telling me you really don't need to talk to anybody right now. You need to focus on you. You can help out a little bit, but you need to stay focused on you right now because I'm, I'm going through stuff and I, I don't know where this is taking me. I'm just, you know, taking a leap out on faith and doing what I need to do. So if, you know, they tell me to do videos and help out, you know, don't, don't put your full you know, your full self towards whatever these people need help with, help guide them and just like, you know, look, you know, I'm working on some stuff with personal stuff with myself right now. I can try to assist you. Like if you need that loving energy coming towards you because you might be going through emotional time, I send that towards you. I tell people, you know, lost puppy knows what I'm talking about. I'll send you angels, especially if I know you're really dealing with some stuff right now. I might not be able to send that spirit towards you but like hey angel can you can you go help assist these people for me real quick sending them loving energy you know i'll be wishing i can do more but if i'm working on something right now and they're telling me to put something down I, i'm not gonna ask no questions universe tell me put something down and put it down you know they tell me sit back and relax i'm gonna do that you know last time i used to not heed what they do and then they put me down in the first place so i'm just gonna start not being hard-headed and do when they tell me to do something you know all these lights keep flashing so they know, you know, I'm talking about something they want me to talk about. So it's just like all these beautiful things that are happening in my life. All these, you know, blessings I'm able to send towards other people. Being able to help people in different ways. I didn't even know I was helping. It makes me feel so good. But it's just like me telling you, you're that beautiful spirit that, you you know, we're going through a war right now. Whereas God and the devil are, we're on that playground in the midst of the middle. And we're going through a lot of hell, but, you know, like I tell people, God puts the strongest soldiers through the most stuff, okay? Because they're going to have us at the front because you play, you play an important role in this war. We got stuff coming up, you know, you're that impact, you know, you feel something. It's like a pot that's boiling on the stove. And you see the, you know, the, the steam coming out of it. And you're starting to see the lid getting a little shaky. You know, you need to either pay attention or turn this, this stuff down. But you know, 
that's how something is brewing right now and it got us working through so many shifts there are so many impasses i see this going through so much and i tell them you know i have to tell myself please be patient i know this is something you don't understand right now but it's time for you to step out and take that leap of faith if they're telling you to work on that do what they tell you to do don't don't go against the grain on that <laughs> don't fight against that current because you ain't gonna win you're not gonna win like i tell people if somebody if they're sending you signs for you to let go up out of people in your life do that because you're gonna wreck yourself you know you're gonna wreck yourself before you know you don't want them to end up putting you in a position where you ain't gonna have no choice that's not a, that's not gonna be a pretty sight and i had to tell people that you know, because if I have to keep telling you and you're not listening to me, I have to exit myself out your life. And I, there are so many people I had to do that with, you know, and I hated doing that. But it was like for their greater good. If not, they're going to bring that energy towards me. And I don't need that. i got enough stuff I'm dealing with. I don't need yours, too. You know, so I'm doing what I need to do. But it's just like when we're stepping out of that cocoon, that's basically a stepping out on that leap of faith. You know, there I know there are certain times when you're on your mission, you don't know where this road is going to take you it can be very scary and it can be very confusing at times but that's when you have to work with faith faith is something you can't see you know you see after the aftermath when you go through everything it was like faith you rode on faith you you depended on the universe you knew the, the universe was going to work on you they're working on you right now and it might be some hell you experiencing right now but that's what it is the devil ain't going to sit up here and work hard on somebody if they don't know they're going to win he already be like, shoot, they ain't about to be nothing. I'm going to leave that alone to let it wreck itself. But when they see that God, universe got something big in store for you, you won't, you won't pay for it each and every way. You're going to be catching bad energies left and right. Drama coming to break you any way possible. I've had it towards me for the last few weeks. And I said, you know what, God, there must be something going on. <laughs> because I'm taking dag on too many L's right now. And I mean, I get frustrated. But I have to keep going. You know, I might let it bring me down for a minute, but you ain't going to keep me down. You know, I, I've been taking people out of my life and I've been feeling so much better. Like I've, I've been, like there's a weight lifted off of my shoulder. That wasn't something I wanted to do because it's like I knew these people for years. You know, they were a big part of my life. But if I see that you're not doing nothing to provide for that energy being in my life, instead you you know you're 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 adding more heaviness towards me. You you got to go. <laughs> you got to go. I'm not even gonna warn you about it. I'm just like they were like, hey, I ain't even seen Rob. Mm -mm, you ain't going to. So it's just like you're going through different things. You're going through different chains of events. But you know it might be scary. It might be confusing. But you already know. God in the universe is not going to put you in a place and desert you. You have to be able to believe in them and have that faith and trust in them. And I have to tell myself that each and every day. You know, change is good. You know, even though change might not be comfortable, but you have to, like I've always said before, you have to get comfortable being uncomfortable at times. You know, if you want great things to happen in your life, you have to be able to deal with that change. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video. Take heed on what I'm saying. If they're telling me to do that and you see all these light flashing, this is like, this ain't nothing with the powers that be that's working on your life like that. So take heed what I'm saying. It's time for you to step out that cocoon and do you. You can do it. Hey, just, just trust and believe in yourself. You got the confidence to do it. All right. I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. Big ups to Gabriel. Much love to you, hon. I'm sending you extra love. And Marie, Katie Straight, much love to you as well. Lost Puppy, as always, much love to you as well. Love and blessings to everybody. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line. I would love a chance to hear your feedback towards the video. And I will see you, and I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. And talk to you later. Much love. Peace. Be wild.